we had to see the first day first show to bring to you what we thought of the highly anticipated Rajinikanth and Akshay Kumar starrer 2.0. We have been hearing about the movie that is about to release for about 2 years. The technical aspect of the film and the attention to detail to the most minute aspects led to the movie being released on 29th November. And I was all set to witness what Shankar's crazy all in a good way mind had to offer us so the film definitely provided for an amazing cinematic experience however there were many flaws due to which the film was not a perfect package i will provide to you the positive versus the negative features of the film so that you guys can make a final decision however i highly recommend that everyone watch this film just because we haven't seen anything like this in indian cinema the film focuses on the mysterious disappearance of cell phones to the troposphere and the realization that every individual in the world has an aura that still exists even after death it's specific specifically lays emphasis on the detrimental effects of electromagnetic waves of mobile phones and towers on birds how the influx of cell phones and companies being set up in several locations initially has an adverse effect on birds reproductive and nervous systems and ultimately leading to the population slowly diminishing akshay kumar who plays an ornithologist after multiple requests with several government individuals and bodies is absolutely frustrated that nothing is done in regards to safeguarding the birds well-being the rest is for you to see how the movie ties into an individual going grog and being completely frustrated by modern human behavior and ultimately how chitti with various versions saves humanity now let's just discuss what did not work in the film the first half the development of the script definitely needed more work we get into the nitty gritty of the story only in the second half the audience is actually truly engaged in the story when we get to know the back story of akshay kumar in the first half we only know that there is a mysterious force taking over the state of tamil nadu and also stealing away cell phones there is no development of why exactly this is happening. happening or the motivation behind it not even a hint of it we are subjected to cryptic photon and positive and negative energy talk without any information actually being given unnecessary slapstick comedy scenes the entire film is filled with filler scenes with extras and the supporting cast that are totally not needed the actors doing physical comedy to try to get some laughs from the audience seems desperate and did not contribute to the development of anything in the script there are moments where a menacing villain is wreaking violence and then suddenly these irrelevant characters are marrowing jokes that don't land The reason for films like Interstellar or Inception to work is that they develop the story with the same intensity and layers on a constant rather than side tracking with moments that don't do anything to the story. Illogical moments. There are many moments in the film where your pragmatic mind will come into play and be like acha matlab kuch bhi chalega yahan par ha. Spectators battle dekh rahe hote and the robot is literally shooting everywhere and no one is hurt. And the worst in my opinion is a sequence where a stillborn is revived by a bird pecking at its chest. The rest I'll make you judge on your own so that I don't give away everything also. The brief appearance of Akshay Kumar. Akshay Kumar steals the show in the second half. His menacing laugh, his determination to make humans realize their destructive way of living, his back and forth between Rajnikanth. Oh, he's so good to watch on the big screen. We only however get to see him in the second half. The reason why the Joker from The Dark Knight was so impactful was that he created the yeri atmosphere of absolute madness from the very beginning. Audiences knew you were always in for a ride when he came on the screen. We wish we just saw more of the character through its running minutes and here's what worked in the film the mind of shankar Shankar in my opinion especially after this film is a visionary in every aspect. The man has brought us an aspect of human behavior that we are all aware of but as it is second nature for us we hardly focus on it. Imagine brainstorming the idea that an abundance of cell phones will create horror in a state. It sounds absolutely bizarre but Shankar makes it work. The man showcases such jaw dropping visuals that if you will see it in the theater you will be truly blown away. You wouldn't have seen such overwhelming visuals in Indian cinema of a creature creating menace through the city, Pacific Rim like robots fighting with each other or just an illumination of phone screens chasing a man it really makes you appreciate the mind and thought process of the director to make these crazy visuals come to life human nature the movie also proves to us a key aspect of how humans are that we will keep on destructing the earth we live in until we see some dire physical effects this in the movie comes in the nature of our prized possessions today cell phones being stripped away from us and how it leads to absolute pandemonium the film reflects on how we are so inclined to our physical possessions no matter what con sequences they have on other life forms visual effects and action sequences this without a doubt shows you the some of the best special effects and action sequences seen in indian cinema the film in specific moments truly does show to you that indian cinema can pull off a big scale international quality sci-fi film two sequences that come to my mind as i saw the film that truly blew me away was when pakshi raja played by akshay kumar fights chitti and transforms back and forth into vasikaran leading chitti to be in a dilemma and the spec 
spectacular climactic fight between the hero and the villain which will truly keep you captivated props to the technical team for such attention to detail and impeccable quality Finally, Rajni Kant and especially Akshay Kumar. The ultimate strength of the film is without a doubt the two main leads. Rajni Kant in moments confronting the antagonist or truly believing that he is the only solution to combat the force, the man proves to us that he is beyond a doubt a superstar. However, Akshay Kumar as Pakshi Raja steals the show. The man comes on the screen predominantly in the second half and is vicious, menacing and so engaging. The beauty of antagonists that work in films is that their motivation is understood and you can empathize with them. Akshay Kumar despite being the antagonist and having violent solutions to the problem you still understand why he is creating havoc everywhere so all in all i urge you that you should be patient with this film as the second half will truly suck you in especially because of akshay kumar's performance and the ultimate visual treat in the physical battle a praiseworthy attempt at sci-fi something we don't see enough in indian cinema and that was the video guys write down in the comments below of what you thought about the movie please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants for also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching